Hello guys, I am back with another video on accountancy. In this video, I am going to teach you guys how to prepare trading account and profit and loss account as well as balance sheet. And the best part of this video is that I am going to explain this with a difficult example so that you guys would be able to do any kind of question relating to trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet. So let's start. Before starting with the question, here is a quick format of trading and profit and loss account. It starts with the heading trading and profit and loss account for the year and date dash 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 means for whatever period we are preparing it. So if we are preparing it for the year and date 31st March 2016, then we will say trading and profit and loss account for the year and date 31st March 2016. Okay. So it is prepared in a T format, T as in English alphabets. Okay. So which includes particulars amount, particulars amount as you can see in the slide. I still remember that time when I studied this format for the first time. I used to call it Papa, P-A-P-A -A, Papa, which is an Indian word for father. So this whole account is divided into two parts that is trading account and profit and loss account. Firstly we start with trading account. On the debit side we write opening stock then two purchases, then wages, and then other expenses, okay? And always remember that we add the expression to with every account written on the debit side of the trading account. And on the credit side, we write buy sales and buy closing stock. On the credit side, we add buy to every account instead of two. Now, this is where almost our trading accounts end. See, I said almost, not completely. The most important part of trading account still left. As you guys may know that in accounts, we balance both debit and credit side. That is the total of debit side should always be equal to the total of credit side. Therefore, to balance both the debit and credit side of trading account, we use gross profit or gross loss, which is the main purpose of preparing trading account. Now, if the credit side is more than the debit side, we have gross profit and if the credit side is more than the, if, and if the debit side is more than the credit side, we have gross loss. These are the balancing figure, which means that their amount will depend upon the difference between the debit and credit side. Okay. This is where our trading account ends. Isn't it simple? Don't worry, if you guys feel it is difficult, stay with me till we solve the question and all of your doubts, doubts will vanish. Okay, now it's the turn of prof wait. So here is the total of trading account which we write inside two straight lines. Okay, now it's the turn of profit and loss account. It always start with either gross profit or gross loss. It depends upon the result of the trading account. If the result of the trading account is gross profit, profit and loss account will start with gross profit on the credit side. And if the result is gross loss, profit and loss account will start with gross loss on the debit side. Also on the debit side of profit and loss account, we record, we record indirect expenses. That is all other expenses except direct expenses and on the credit side we record indirect incomes. Now comes the totaling part. So as I said debit is always equal to credit. Therefore if the credit side is more we have net profit and if the debit side is more we have net loss. So if you guys want to complete explanation of direct and indirect expenses and income the video link is in description so with this we have studied enough of the format now let's solve an example with adjustment okay so here is a trial balance given from which we have to prepare trading and profit and loss account as well as balance sheet but before reading the question you guys should have knowledge of assets liabilities direct expenses, indirect expenses, and indirect incomes. Now, if you are studying trading and profit and loss account, let me assume that you guys already know about assets and liability because we read them in starting. 
Now direct expenses are those which are directly related to production. Example of direct expenses are wages, carriage invert, freight invert, octroi, royalty on production, etc. And indirect expenses are those expenses which are not directly related to production. Example includes salaries, taxes, postage, telephone expenses, insurance, printing and stationery expenses, depreciation, advertisement expenses, etc. Now let's study the question. So the question is, the following is the trial balance of Shady Ohm as on 31st March 2016. And you are required to prepare the trading and profit and loss account for the year ended 31st March 2016 and balance sheet as on that date after making the necessary adjustment. So in this question we are given trial balance on the left side and adjustments on the right side. Adjustments are those entries which we forget to either add or they accrue after preparing trial balance. As you guys may know that each transaction in accountancy has two sides that is debit and credit which means they are recorded in two accounts. So when we prepare trial balance all those entries are in included except adjustment entries. So each entry in the trial balance will have one treatment in the trading and profit and loss, in the trading and profit and loss account. Whereas the entries in the adjustment will have two treatments. Okay, means they will be they will come two times in the trading and profit and loss account as well as balance sheet. So let's prepare trading and profit and loss account first. To prepare it, first of all, we have to draw some lines as shown in the video, which includes particulars, amount, particulars, and amount. On the above, we have to write trading and profit and loss account for the year ended March 31, 2016. Okay, as given in the question. And on the top left side, we write debit. And on the top right side, we write credit. This is the format of trading and profit and loss account. Now, let's move towards the inside of the format. If you guys recall the format, then you may know, no, then you may not know that as I said trading account always starts with opening stock on the debit side. Here opening stock is equal to, here it is, opening stock is equal to 2,50,000 as you can see in the question. Therefore we will write to opening stock rupees 2,50,000. Next comes purchases which is equal to rupees, here it is, purchase is equal to rupees 15,50,000. But remember these are not net purchases. These are gross purchases. So we will write the amount of gross purchases in the particulars column because in the trading account we are not concerned with net gross purchases. We are concerned with net purchases. Now if we see the question we can see that in the adjustment entry number 4 proprietor had withdrawn goods worth Rs 25,000 during the year. But in business we are only concerned with goods bought for personal use, bought for business use, not for personal use, okay. So therefore we will subtract goods worth Rs 25,000 from the purchases. See those goods are for personal use, not for business use. Then why to record those expenses in the business accounts, okay. So that's why we subtract them. So to purchase is 15 lakh 15,000 less drawings 25,000. On subtracting, we get rupees 15,25,000, which are still not the net purchases. Therefore, we will record inside the particular column. Now, as I said that each adjustment entry has two treatment. Therefore, these drawings of goods will also have two treatment, as they are in adjustment. You know that one treatment is to subtract the drawings from purchases. But the other treatment is to subtract these drawings from the capital of the proprietor. Propri we say on owner is also known as proprietor as he has used the resources of business for his personal use. Therefore, his capital will be reduced with the amount of drawings. Okay. So, we will reduce the amount of capital in the balance sheet with Rs 25,000 drawings as he has withdrawn his capital in the form of goods for his personal use. Now as I said that 
this 15 lakh 25 thousand is still not net purchases because if you see in the question there is another adjustment number 7 which says purchases include rupees 20 rupees 50 thousand worth of furniture now furniture is an asset for the business but the purchases which are included in trading account are only related to those goods in which a business deals that is those goods which a business manufactures or purchases for the purpose of sale. Therefore, we have to subtract this 50,000 from the purchases so as to find the net purchases. Okay, so less furniture 50,000 which is equal to 14,75,000 which is our net purchases. net purchases. So, we will write this amount in the amount column. Now, as this is also an adjustment entry, its second treatment will be to increase the amount of furniture in the balance sheet. We have to increase the amount of furniture in the balance sheet with the amount of furniture purchased, that is 50,000. And so the amount of furniture on the asset side of balance sheet will increase with rupees 50,000. Now, after recording opening stock and purchases comes the wages. In the question, wages are, where is wages, here it is, wages are rupees 1 lakh. So, we will record two wages, rupees 1 lakh on the debit side of the trading account. Next comes direct expenses. In the question, direct expenses are, carriage inverts and, well, there is only one direct expenses. All other expenses are indirect. Therefore, we will record to carriage invert rupees 50,000. Now, we have almost completed our debit side of trading account. Now, let's move on to credit side. Credit side always starts with sales. Sales. Here it is. Sales equal to rupees 19,87,500. Okay. So, therefore, we will record sales as buy sales 19,87,500 on the credit side of trial balance. Next comes on the credit side of trading account. Next comes closing stock. Now, closing stock is always given in the adjustments. Therefore, it also has two treatment. Its first treatment is to record the amount of closing stock on the credit side of, of trading account. And its other treatment is to record it on the asset side of the balance sheet. As closing stock of this year will become opening stock of the next year. Therefore, it is a current asset in the hands of the business. Now, closing stock is given in the first adjustment. Stock on March March 31, 2016 was valued at rupees 775,000. So, we will write by closing stock rupees 775,000. Okay, now what we have to do is to balance the both sides as in accounts debit is always equal to credit. Now, in order to equal to, in order to equal the both sides, first of all we have to find out which side is higher. Here in this example, credit side is bigger and its total is rupees 27,62,500. Now, we will write this total on the both sides. That is, whichever side is bigger, its amount will be written on the both sides. So, as to balance the other side. Now, as I previously said that if the credit side is more than the debit side of the trading account, we will have gross profit. And its amount will be equal to the difference between debit and credit side. Here, the difference is of rupees 8,87,500. Therefore, gross profit will be 8,87,500. This 8,87,500 is the balancing figure which is recorded so as to balance the both sides. So, as our trading account is prepared, now it's time for the profit and loss account. Okay. So, profit and loss account always start with the end result of trading account. Here the end result of trading account is gross profit carried down which is 8,87,500 therefore profit and loss account will also start with gross profit. And in profit and loss account which is also known as P and L account gross profit is always recorded at the credit side here. Okay. 
so we will record gross profit which is equal to eight like eighty eighty seven thousand five hundred as per gross profit carried on eight lakh eighty seven thousand five hundred now on the debit side of p and l account we record indirect expenses and on the credit side we record indirect income starting with debit side indirect expenses in the question are let's start from starting so indirect expenses are here it is carriage outward one lakh ten thousand okay so it will be written as two carriage outwards one lakh ten thousand on the debit side of p and l account because as you go as you guys know that indirect expenses are written on the debit side therefore two carriage outward rupees one lakh ten thousand next is general expenses which is rupees seventy thousand so general to general expenses rupees seventy thousand next is discount which is rupees twenty thousand so to discount rupees twenty thousand next is here printing and stationery which is rupees fifteen thousand so to printing and stationery rupees fifty fifteen thousand next is advertisement which is rupees eighty five thousand so similarly to advertisement rupees eighty five thousand now as our left side has you know no space left on left side so we will continue this question on the right side so here is the same format of profit and loss account now we are continuing the left side on the right side so next is insurance here it is insurance is rupees 45000 but here is a twist wait so we will write to insurance rupees 45000 now this 45000 will be written inside the particular column because if you guys see that in adjustment entry number 9 prepaid insurance is rupees 5000 now prepaid insurance means that we have paid insurance for the next year in the current year so the insurance which we have to pay later we have paid now means the insurance which we have pay in the next period or next year we have paid in this year or in this period okay but in profit and loss account we only record income and expenses of current year Therefore, insurance of rupees forty-five thousand, which is given in trial balance, this one also includes rupees five thousand, which we have paid for the next year. So, to arrive at the actual insurance for the current year, we have to less this prepaid insurance from the insurance. So, to insurance rupees forty-five thousand less prepaid five thousand, so the actual insurance will be rupees forty thousand. Now, next is salesman commission which is 87500 okay so to salesman commission 87500 now i have written this commission inside the particular column as you guys can see that in where is it yeah in adjustment number 5 salesmen are entitled to a commission of 5% on total sales so 5% commission on total sales okay okay so sales equal to 19,87,500 so the salesmen are to be given commission of 5% on this 19,87,500 and 5% of 19,87,500 is equal to 99,250 thus the company has to pay Rs. 99,250 to its salesmen but according to trial balance here it is here is the trial balance it has only paid rupees 87,500 okay so therefore there is an outstanding commission of rupees 11,750 and the expenses of sale commission will increase to rupees 99,250 because no matter whether the company has paid its expenses or not of the current year it has to record them in its account so to sales commission salesman commission 87,500 less outstanding sorry here i have to write add outstanding so i hope you got it so add outstanding rupees 11,750 so we will get 99,250 so outstanding any expenses outstanding are always added and any expenses prepaid are always subtracted okay got it 
ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज पोस्टेज एंड टेलीफोन विच इज फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो टू पोस्टेज एंड टेलीफोन फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड नेक्स्ट इज सैलरीज विच इज वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सो टू सैलरीज वन लैख सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सो हेयर इज ऑल्सो एन एडजस्टमेंट एंट्री नंबर एट विच इज सैलरीज आउटस्टैंडिंग आर रुपीज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो एज आई सेड ऑल आउटस्टैंडिंग अमाउंट आर एडिड ओके सो एड आउटस्टैंडिंग सैलरीज विच इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो अवर एक्चुअल सैलरीज विल बी वन लैख एटी थाउजेंड नो नेक्स्ट इज रेट्स एंड टैक्सीज विच इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सो टू रेट्स एंड टैक्सीज रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड नो ऑल दट एक्सपेंसिज इन दी ट्रायल बैलेंस आर टेकन केयर ऑफ ओके एक्सेप्ट बैड डेट्स केयर इट इज बैड डेट्स इज रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड so i have left bad debts for last as it is little difficult so here bad debts equal to rupees 10000 which is recorded on the debit side of profit and loss account now as you guys can see that i have recorded this bad debts amount of this bad debts in the particular column therefore there is an adjust because there is an adjustment entry for the bad debts which is adjustment entry number 6 adjustment includes rupees 25000 bad debts therefore this bad debts rupees 10000 will be further increased by bad debts rupees 25000 which is which comes equal to rupees 35000 okay now if you guys see that there is another adjustment entry which is related to bad and doubtful debt here it is adjustment entry number 2 provision for doubtful debts at the rate of 5% is to be created but this 5% is always calculated after deducting the bad debts present in adjustment that is this rupees 25000 from the debtors here is debtors debtors are equal to rupees 5 lakh so if we reduce debtors with rupees 25000 then debtors will be rupees 4 lakh 75000 that is 5 lakh minus 25000 now we have to take 5% of 4 lakh 75000 which will which will be our provision for doubtful debt okay and it will also be recorded on the debit side of profit and loss account so to provision for doubtful debts equal to 23750 which is 5% of 4 lakh 75000 okay now all the indirect expenses in the trial balance are recorded but there is still one indirect expense is left which is in the adjustment entry number 3 depreciate furniture and fitting by 10% and motor car by 20% now this entry says depreciate furniture and fittings by 10% so where are furniture and fittings here it is furniture and fittings rupees 1 lakh 10000 but there are additional furniture which is purchases include rupees 50000 worth of furniture So total furniture will be one lakh ten thousand plus fifty thousand, which is equal to one lakh sixty thousand. Now it says depreciate furniture and fitting by ten percent. So ten percent of one lakh sixty thousand will be two depreciation on furniture rupees sixteen thousand, which is ten percent of one lakh sixty thousand. Okay. Next is add motor car by twenty percent. so we have to depreciate motor car by 20% here it is motor car is equal to 2 lakh 40000 which will be 20% 20 of 2 lakh 40000 is equal to 48000 so two depreciation on motor car rupees 48000 now all the indirect ex indirect expenses in the question are taken care of so nothing else will come on the debit side of profit and loss account and if you guys see the question there are non indirect incomes so credit side will only include by gross profit carried on now if you guys calculate both debit and credit side of the profit and loss account you guys will see that credit side is more okay so in order to balance the profit and loss account we have to record the total of credit side on the both side like this here sorry So like this, eight lakh eighty seven thousand five hundred. So now what we have to do is to balance the debit side 
with credit side as debit side is less so that means as i said that if credit side is more than the debit side of the profit and loss account we will have net profit so the net profit will be rupees 62875 which is the balancing amount between credit side and debit side okay so i hope you guys got this now is the turn of balance sheet so here is the format of balance sheet it is also prepared in T format as you guys can see. On the left side we record liabilities and on the right side we record assets. On the toy on the top on the top we write balance sheet as on March 31st 2016. Or I can say balance sheet as on March as on dash 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 means on whatever date we are preparing it. Okay. Now let's start with liability side. I assume that you guys already know about assets and liability but if you guys don't there is a video in the description which you guys must see if you don't know okay so liability side of balance sheet can be started with any item of liability here I am starting with capital here it is here it is capital which is rupees 13 lakh 88 thousand so capital equal to 13 lakh 88 thousand now we have to add net profit in this capital here you guys must know that if our business has incurred net loss then it will be subtracted but if it has incurred net profit it will be added in capital so if you guys recall that a minute before we have prepared our net profit and loss account and the result was net profit which was equal to 62,875 so we will add net profit 62,875 which makes capital rupees 14,50,875. Now as I said that all adjustment entries comes one time in balance sheet and one time in trading and profit and loss account. Now let's see our adjustment entries. If you guys see that adjustment entry number 4. Proprietor had withdrawn goods worth rupees 25,000 during the year. So here proprietor has made drawings in the form of goods and its statement in balance sheet will be to reduce the amount of capital with the amount of drawings. Okay. So drawings are always subtracted from the capital. So here we will subtract the amount of drawing that is rupees 45,000 from the capital. Now drawings are 45,000 because you can see that here we are already given drawings in the trial balance which is rupees 20,000 and the further drawings are per this one proprietor had withdrawn goods worth rupees 25,000 during the year. So 20,000 plus 25,000 is equal to 45,000. So 14,50,875 minus 45,000 will come equal to 14,5875 okay now next liability is let's start from the trial balance here it is creditors okay so here it is written on credit side all the liabilities are given on the credit side okay so creditors are 2 lakh so sundry creditors 2 lakh next liability is here it is sales now remember sales are not liabilities everything written on the credit side doesn't mean that it is a liability it can be income too okay all the expenses are written on the debit side in the trial balance all the assets and expenses and all the incomes and liabilities are written on the credit side okay so there are no other liability in the trial balance so let's see the adjustment whether they have any liabilities or not so you guys can see that adjustment entry number 5 salesmen are entitled to a commission of 5% on total sales. So if you guys remember over 5% on 19,87,500 comes to 99,250 but the actual commission paid is here it is 87,500 ok. So the balance 11,875 which has to pay by the company in the near future so it is a liability for the business 
so salesman commission outstanding is equal to 11875 next liability in the adjustment are adjustment entry number 8 salaries outstanding are rupees 20000 similarly as salesman commission outstanding here salaries are or are also liability for a business so salaries outstanding rupees 20000 You guys must know that all outstanding expenses are to be recorded on the lab liability side of the balance sheet. Okay, so now there are no other liability left in the question. So we will move on to the asset side. Let's find the asset in the trial balance first. First is sundry debtors. So sundry debtors are equal to five lakh. Sundry debtors five lakh. Okay. Now. If you guys see adjustment entry number six, here it is. Debtors include rupees twenty-five thousand bad debts. So we will subtract this twenty-five thousand from the debtors as those debtors got bad. That is, there is less less chance of receiving them, okay, or less or no chance. So less bad debts, twenty-five thousand, and our debtors will become four lakh seventy-five thousand. Now there is another adjustment related to debtors, which adjustment number two, which is provision for bad and doubtful debts at the rate of five percent is to be created. This five percent will be calculated on the remaining debtors, that is rupees four lakh seventy five thousand. Okay, and five percent of four lakh seventy five thousand is twenty three thousand seven hundred fifty. And these are also to be reduced from the debtors. So less provision for total debts, twenty-three thousand seven hundred fifty, and our debtors will become four lakh fifty-one thousand two hundred fifty. Okay. Now next asset is here. It is motor car, and its value is two lakh forty thousand. So motor car two lakh forty thousand. Now adjustment entry number three says. Depreciate furniture and fitting by ten percent and motor car by twenty percent. So we have to depreciate motor car by twenty percent. Now twenty percent of two lakh forty forty thousand is forty eight thousand. So we will reduce the amount of depreciation from the value of motor car. So less depreciation forty eight thousand and the value of motor car will become one lakh ninety two thousand. Okay. Now. Here you guys should remember that depreciation is always subtracted from the asset. Now next asset is furniture and fittings, which is one lakh ten thousand. Now adjustment entry number seven says purchases include rupees fifty thousand worth of furniture, which is not included in one lakh ten thousand, which is given in trial balance. Thus the value of furniture becomes one lakh sixty thousand after adding that. Fifty thousand. Okay, so furniture and fitting one lakh ten thousand, and addition during the year fifty thousand. So the furniture and fitting will become one lakh sixty sixty thousand. Now in the question adjustment entry number three says depreciate furniture and fittings by ten percent. So we have to charge depreciation on furniture by ten percent. The value of furniture is one lakh sixty thousand. And ten percent of one lakh sixty thousand is sixteen thousand, and depreciation is always subtracted from the asset. So less depreciation sixteen thousand, and furniture and fittings will become one lakh forty four thousand. Next asset is bank. So it is sixty thousand. So bank sixty thousand. Next is cash ten thousand five hundred. So we will record cash as. Ten thousand five hundred. Now all the assets in the trial balance are taken care of, but in the adjustment one asset still left, still left, which you can see in adjustment entry number nine. Prepaid insurance rupees five thousand. Always remember that all prepaid expenses are assets for the business, so prepaid expenses rupees five thousand will be recorded on the asset side. Here it is. Prepaid insurance five thousand. Now another adjustment entry left, which I forget to tell you guys. 
इट इज एडजस्टमेंट एंट्री नंबर वन स्टॉक ऑन मार्च थर्टी वन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन वॉस वैल्यूड एट रुपीज सेवन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सो इट इज अ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक फॉर द बिजनेस एंड स्टॉक इज एन एसेट फॉर द बिजनेस ओके सो इट विल ऑल्सो कम ऑन द एसेट साइड सो क्लोजिंग स्टॉक रुपीज सेवन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड विल कम ऑन द एसेट साइड नो इफ वी टोटल द बोथ साइड ऑफ अवर बैलेंस शीट दैट इज एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटी साइड वी विल सी दैट बोथ साइड्स आर इक्वल दिस इक्वेलिटी प्रूव दैट वी हैव सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन करेक्टली और द अकाउंट्स ऑफ ए बिजनेस आर प्रिपेयर करेक्टली हेयर द टोटल कम्स रुपीज सिक्सटीन लैख थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ऑफ बोथ लाइबिलिटीज एंड एसेट साइड डेट्स आल होप यू गैस लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यस do not forget to like and comment on this video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you